Hello everybody, Jackson here with the Well Squad. Today we'll be talking about a couple of stocks that are Hello everybody, Jackson here with the Well Squad. Today we'll be talking about buying the bottom of these stocks that are down at least 75% in the year. Uh, as you can see, shop five we're looking at right now, down 76% in the last year, down 78% from the all-time highs. Now the question is, will it go all the way back? Will it rebound fully? Um, and that is a question that we will be talking about today along with some other stocks that we're looking at. Regardless, you can see Shopify needs a 375% return to get back to all-time highs of 176, and that's, of course, after that stock split. 375% um, is no easy um, path to get back to. A lot of times, you know, you see a double, which is the stock falls 50%, and it needs to double get back, or many times it's it's not anywhere near 80% down. So with Shopify, I don't think that anytime soon, um, at least in the next couple of years, it will be the all the way back to the all-time high of 660, 176, um, regardless of even 150s, 140. So the hard part is you have to buy these stocks knowing that they won't fully recover uh, for a long time because well chances are they won't chances are uh, many of these won't at all ever and you have to buy at 40 or 37 now and think to yourself you know I could sell at 60 I could sell at 80 um, but don't just hold and wait for it to hit all time highs because that might not happen that's Shopify though so let's look at some others that are exactly like it's down 75% Snapchat, of course, comes to mind. Snapchat had uh, a, another earnings report today. You can see down 39%. Here's the day performance. So before, on Thursday, we were trained for $16. Now we're trained for $10. Um, of course, of course, it kills the rest of the market. We'll talk about that later. But um, as you can see, Shopify, I'm sorry, Snapchat down at least 75% from the year. Uh, started at 62 now we're at 10 so of course it's gotten slammed more like 87 percent 80 90 percent somewhere around that region um, you have to think to yourself that these types of stocks are all sort of this 20 20 late 2021 bubble uh, where it highlighted technology stocks forgot about you know growing cash flows forgot about debt to income forgot about um, all these different ratios the PEG the growth rate of the income, your debt, like I've already said, your cash, it forgets about all of these and just focuses on, well, first, the technology, and number two, the growth of that sales and income. Uh, in Snapchat's case, sure, it was looking pretty good um, in the later part of last year. Then it all fell out once Snapchat hit 82, 83. Uh, bad earnings report went, fell to 60. Another bad earnings report fell 25, jumped right back. Another bad earnings report fell from 22 to 12, and this one fell from 16 to 10. Um, buying Snapchat here is like buying a, a falling knife, and you're going to get stabbed along the way. Uh, I would disregard it. I would not look into buying Snapchat anytime here soon. Now, I would also not consider that Snapchat will recover fully because it's been mostly a very, very odd stock since it went public back in 2017 you can see it went public for around 20 i believe 21 dollars a share is the initial price that they tried to go public for now we're trading at 10 we're trading at less than half of what it went public for five years ago so snapchat one of those stocks to trade here and there if you'd like uh don't invest in it now we'll look at twilio here we go twilio this was a, a very, very loved growth stock back when it was $300, $400 a share. Now we're under 100 and no one talks about it anymore, of course. No one even considers it a growth stock because, well, even the past, even past COVID, that's when most of these tech stocks um, were highlighted as great investments. Shopify and Snapchat, of course, were prime examples of that. They were trained for all-time highs in the latter part of 2021 since covid has kind of died out 
and not many people are getting it, not many people talk about it, and inflation has come to tear us to shreds through our savings and living expenses, these growth stocks are getting less and less of people's everyday revenue. Twilio is a great example of that. It was once trained for 450, now trained for under 100 bucks. But you can see this company is not bad. Out of the past five, six years of earnings reports, it's lost to two estimates. Out of, you know, uh, six times four, you're looking at 24 earnings or so, right? Or six times four, yeah, 24. Uh, so 24 earnings, you're losing out on two of them, and now you have a $100 stock that was once 450. And another thing that we could look at, let me X out of here, is the market cap. So let me emphasize this a little bit more. This is the market cap of the companies. You can see once Twilio was worth 71 billion, right now worth 15 billion. And even this Snapchat uh, debate, goal, whatever, that we talked about before where it doesn't have very good earnings reports, well, that usually kicks off earnings season and um, Facebook, Google, Pinterest all hurt by it in the market in general. But regardless, we can see Twilio later today fell 5.5% just because it's a growth stock and a large, large, once large growth stock was hurt. And of course, that affects many others in the scheme of the market right now. Um, market's highly unpredictable, right? You can't say what's going to go up, what's going to go down, because this was going to be a $1,000 stock to some people uh, last year, right? This was the $1,000 to $500 stock. Never reached five hundred dollars. Now under a hundred, and no one's talking about it. Everyone's ignored it. On to the next is what they say. What as do we? So let's go to Doctor Sign, um, and of course another COVID stock that came and went uh, was went public for around fifty, hit a high of over three hundred. Now below seventy five. Uh, haven't heard any people talking about it besides uh, negatively because they've lost money on it. One of those stocks where you just you know disregard it you know it's not needed anymore uh the office is coming back into person right it's not online anymore you're not going to be um signing contracts to other people online it's going to be more in person is what they say right that's why the stock is falling covid is getting out of people's lives and real life is coming back instead we are getting inflation um and this economic stance that we cannot entertain for very long because of course not many people have the money to uh gas and food and uh vehicles and homes is what i'm trying to say here and DocuSign, a premium service for signing documents online when you know you could go and sign them in person or just use a free service not too difficult so these stocks are all covid related because during the covid season or what you'd like to call it during the actual pandemic uh their income grew because they were online companies all of these and since that has since stopped or slowed quite a considerable amount these stocks are left in the dust like it was nobody's business i would recommend you to look through these stocks because there are some gems here i i do believe so um but most of them will never recover i would say one out of four will recover uh and that's that's not conservative at all i would say that's pretty aggressive um but i'd like to hear what you have to say of these four stocks uh just some stocks are down at least 75 percent that don't look like they're coming back anytime soon I'd like to hear what you have to think thank you for watching